Feng Xiaogang is one of the most renowned film directors in the country. His early comedies helped establish and drive the lucrative year-end movie market. In 2012, he ventured to spend 200 million yuan to make Back to 1942, a historic epic that portrayed the Great Chinese Famine of the same year. However, the film starved at the box office and only took in 400 million yuan, far less than what his comedies used to harvest. The following year, he returned to his roots and with the comedy Personal Tailor took in 700 million yuan. So we asked him, what kind of artworks are needed in China? I believe Back to 1942 has more artistic value than Personal Tailor. However, the box office disagrees. But for me, I'm determined to make films that are sincere and of high quality, as we cannot set our eyes only on where the market leads us, or in other words, what the mass audience wants. If one only meticulously thinks of ways to make their fortune from the pockets of their audience, their works cannot be sincere. However, it will be a test for investors. They want to make a profit. For example, a television entertainment show has recently been screened in cinemas, which I cannot agree with, mainly for its attitude. We should not encourage people to make a film in only six days. It's obviously not a work of art that is made sincerely for an audience. I want to ask them why did they make it. But many others, including the people's daily, stand behind them and accuse us directors of not asking ourselves why our movies don't perform well. There is some misunderstanding here, I think. The Chinese movie market is huge and it's growing very quickly. This February, its box office revenue surpassed the U.S., becoming number one in the world. And how did this come? It is us, the directors, who stand opposite those television entertainment shows that make it happen. They have made one or two films that have a good record at the box office, but we have made dozens in a row. And we created this booming movie industry. When we want to protect this good environment, we are described as people who say the grapes are sour because we can't get them. I think this is being totally ignorant of the history of Chinese film.